Hi, this is Lisa Carney for Creative Pro, and this is a sneak peek for my session, Fast Photo Fixes with AI. This is going to be at the Design and AI Summit happening on December 7th and 8th. And we're going to talk about some amazing things you can do with Photoshop neural filters, what you need to know about having AI assist with your Photoshop. So let's take a look, shall we? Adobe loves their new neural filters, and there's some kind of cool filters starting to come out there. They have this one for depth mask, and it's pretty interesting. I'm going to be totally upfront. I have not used this a ton, but I know there's something in here. I just haven't quite figured out where it's going to work in my workflow. So I'd like to show it to you to see. Maybe it, you'll find it works for you for something. And primarily right now, I'm using it for either color correcting or blurring, not so much masking, but it is a mask, which I'm using to color correct or blur. So hopefully that made sense. Let's take a look, shall we? So again, these are new filters and who knows, they're going to get improved on and worked on, but it might be worth an experiment. And we are talking about masking. So here's neural filters. And when you launch the neural filters, please know this is in the current Photoshop brand new. You want to click on, click on depth blur. And what you'll see is you can change the focal range. You can change the blur strength. It's kind of fun. You can give it some haze. You can take an image that maybe isn't quite so exciting if the, the background's busy. You can warm up the temperature a little bit. You can also turn off, so I'm doing the focal range here with the slider. But you can also turn focus on subject. And then you would click on the subject that you want to be focus, have in focus. So either the boy or the girl. Again, whichever works for you. I mean, it's just kind of fun. You never know. And again, as I said, these will constantly get improved on. But here's the thing. You can also out, um, output this, excuse me, as a new layer, layer mask, smart filter, or document. Or if you slide down, you got to remember this. This always gets me. You can um, find some more controls underneath. Like I can take the saturation down. I can take the brightness down or up but what i really want you to see is this depth map check this out i could either output this as it is to a new layer or i could say you know what give me a depth mask and if it does that and you output it then you can do your own corrections how cool is that so let's go ahead and do depth actually no i'm going to turn that off i'm going to go ahead and click ok but know that rather than having a layer that's actually manipulated I could do the same thing, go back to neuro filters, have to click on it again, it's going to take a minute. The one thing is you do have to be connected to the internet, it takes a minute, and then I could output depth map only. And then I could use that as a channel, which you guys now know how to do. You just grab it by its name, drag it down, bada bing, I now have a channel I could use as a selection. So I could load that channel, command click on it, and I don't know, desaturate it. Let's try that. Minus set. Frankly, this is just another way of making a mask in a different manner and using it however you like. So play with the neuro filters. I hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek at my session for the Design and AI Summit coming up December 7th and 8th. If you liked it, it seems interesting, be sure and join us. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to our channel. And for thousands more how-to articles and tutorials, visit our website, creativepro.com, and become a member today. Thanks for learning with us.